Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. The Book of the Genealogy of Jesus Christ, the Son of David, the Son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Tamar became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijad, Abijad the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzzah, Uzzah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Sheatel, Sheatel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Ebud, Ebud became the father of Elakim, Elakim the father of Azor. Azor the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim. Achim the father of Elud. Elud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Matan. Matan the father of Jacob. Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Although genealogies in Scripture can seem a bit dry and repetitive, what I do appreciate is the generative history of it. All life, everything that exists in the universe, can be traced back to the Big Bang, that is, the moment of creation. From cosmic gases came the stars, through which came the elements to form the planets, which then prepared the foundation for life. From simplicity came ever more complexity and richness, and such is true on a micro level in our own individual lives. Our experiences grow in complexity and richness along with the passing of time, And through our faith, we believe that this trajectory does not end after our earthly pilgrimage is over. Rather, continues into the heavenly realm, where our experiences will grow and increase in dimensions far beyond anything that we can possibly imagine now. So as we continue on in this Advent journey, let us be mindful of where we came from and where we will be going in Christ our Lord. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and generative day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.